I am Anil Kumar. This video is for Krish, who believes in that the knowledge is key to success. We'll talk about growing number patterns. We'll explore cases where the numbers increases by different number each time. What you see here is a pattern formed with few triangles. In the top row, we have only one triangle, then we have added three. So in two rows, we have four triangles in all. Now in the third row, we added one, two, three, four, five, and that makes one plus three, four, four plus five, nine. If you add seven, you get 16 triangles. So what you see here is a pattern which is being formed by adding different number of triangles. To one, we first added how many? Three, right? So, so moving from first pattern to the second, we added three triangles. And then from moving from second to third, we have added five triangles. And then we added seven. So we are adding different numbers each time. Working with such patterns is very interesting. Now let us see how these numbers can be related. So we'll make our table, right? So we'll make our table where in the first column, we will write down pattern number, right? So we'll have pattern number here. And in the second column, we will write down number of triangles. So, so I represent number by this symbol, number of triangles. In the first pattern, let's remove all. So in the first pattern, we have only one triangle, correct? And then what we did, we added three. So if I add three to this, like here, you see that? So we added three to this. How many do you get? In all, we form the second pattern. And in this second pattern, we have one plus three, which is four triangles. Now, we'll add different number. Instead of three, we are going to add five this time. So these are the five more triangles added to our pattern. We get the next pattern. So we added five and got the third pattern in which we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, nine triangles in all. Do you notice these numbers? One, four, nine. How are they related with the numbers on the left? One, two, and three. Think about it. Okay, let me add this time seven. That means, okay, so we have more triangles to add. We added five last time, and now we are going to add seven triangles. Do you see this lotus flower being formed? We are adding seven. And the number of triangles till here were nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in the fourth pattern, we get 16 triangles. If we continue this pattern, then you need to tell me how many triangles will be there in the seventh pattern and how many will be there in the tenth pattern. Take your time. Find a relation between pattern number and number of triangles. For one, you get one. For two, you get two times two, four. For three, we get three times three, nine. For four, four times four, 16, right? So for seven, what should you get? 
you should get 7 times 7 which is 49 triangles and for 10 you should get 10 times 10 which is 100 so you expect 100 triangles in the 10th pattern do you see how we can develop and find a relation now these numbers we are squaring the numbers right so what we learned here is a pattern to square numbers I hope you find it useful now I'll take another example with growing patterns and I hope you will enjoy the whole exercise and learn while playing here is another example of growing patterns this time we have a step pattern you can see the shape right it goes in the form of a step let's begin with our pattern number one here we have only one square right so as we add more squares to it we form new pattern so in pattern number one we have one square and then what we did was that we added two so once you add two you get one two three squares then next step we added not two but three so we are adding different number each time so once you add three how many squares do you have one two three four five and one six now if you continue this pattern what happens let's add four count and this process could be continued right let us explore such type of step patterns and find out a rule for such patterns so again we'll make our table right so this table always helps so in one column in the first column I'll write the pattern number let me write P for pattern and in the second column we will write the number of bricks or squares you see this pattern in the walls right so in the first pattern which is kind of like this we have just one square right then what we do here is we add two squares to this to form the second pattern so in the second pattern we now have three squares if I add this time not two but three squares I get something like this right how many squares are there in all one two three four five six so in the third pattern we have six squares and now we are going to add four squares so if you add four squares we get six plus four which is ten so in the fourth pattern we get 10 squares well you can continue this pattern and write down how many squares will be there in the seventh pattern but tell me how will you find the number of squares in the tenth pattern using a formula that is the key that is the key right so I'll give you time to work on this take your time to work on this meanwhile I'll show you different ways of making this pattern right so let me show you another way of doing it what I will do here is make steps in the form of a tree for example right so we can begin with one right and then we can add two so if I add two I get one plus two three do you see that then I can add three steps right so that is a growing pattern once I add three steps I get total six steps one plus two plus three which is six and then we can continue this pattern of adding steps we can add four steps make a tree 
Do you see that? This also follows the same rule which we explored. So there are many examples which you can share and develop based on this pattern. But the question is, how do I get these numbers? Did you get an idea? Well, you must have got up to 7 by now, right? So basically, we added 2, right? Plus 2, we got 3. Plus 3, we got 6. Plus 4, we got 10. Plus 5. So for 5, we get 15. And for 6, we have to add 6 more, right? And we get 21. And now, if we add 7, we get 28. So, this way, you can, of, of course, find the pattern. But is there some other way of finding this pattern? Think about it. So, I'll give you some more time and make another pattern using my blocks. Right? So, here is another one. So, we can start with one break. Let it be kind of like this. We want to add two to this right so i'm actually giving you time so that you can find a rule right so we'll add two more how many do we have we have three in all right and then i'm going to add three more to this so so if i add three more i have six in all how about adding four if i add four more then, in all, I will get 10. Right? Let it be in the other direction. Okay. It looks better this way. Let's put it. So, what you can do? You can play with your blocks, make some patterns, find some rules. How are they related? That's the whole exercise. Correct? How are they related? Now, something comes to my mind, that is to say, I could get these numbers if I do for the first row, this is the first row, if I do 1 times 2 and then divide by 2, I get 2 divided by 2 as 1. For the second row, I could do 2 times 3 divided by 2. And that gives me 2 to cancel, I get 3. The number here, do you see that? And then for the third row, 3 is the starting, times 4, divide by 2, gives us 3 times 4 is 12. Half of 12 is 6, so we get 6. Do you get an idea? With 4, we'll do 4 times 5, divide by 2. 4 times 5 is 20, half of 20 is 10. With 5, we get 5 times 6, divide by 2. 5 times 6 is 30, dividing 30 by 2, half of 30 is 15. So for 10, what should I get? 10 times 11 divided by 2. Half of 10 is 5. 5 times 11 is 55. So I should get 55 blocks. That is to say, if I have 55 blocks, I can make 10th pattern. Right? So if so, what you also learn that if I have 55 blocks, I can make 10th pattern of this kind right now the question for you is how many blocks are required so let me remove this so that you can see right so how many blocks are required for 15 such patterns right so that is a question for you so i hope you find this series very interesting play and learn about patterns feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best